So first thing, create a new comp with 1920 by 1920. Then drag the PNG to the timeline and make it the same size as the composition. Then pre-compose it. Then go up to layer and click auto trace. Then create a new solid. So disable these two layers here. Then search for element 3D. Go up to custom layers, custom text and masks. Then choose here the auto trace. Then open custom texture and choose here the PNG comp. So click on the scene setup. Then click extrude. To increase the model quality change the path resolution to extreme. So open here the extrusion model. Bevel 1. Then go down to texture. And choose here the PNG. To fix the size check here this use layers UV. Then the logo will be on both sides. Also to extend it. Make the extrude 2.82. Now let's choose an environment. Go to presets. Here you can choose any environment you like. Let's choose one quickly from here. Then click OK. So let's create a new camber. Also a new null to control the camber. And let's parent it to the null. And make it a 3D layer by checking this box here. Then open transform. To make a random 3D animation, set these keyframes here. And go here and drag these keyframes. So to make the animation like in the preview you can copy these settings here. Then choose all the keyframes and press F9. Then go to the graph editor. Make sure that you are in the speed graph here. Then make a graph like this. So now let's create a new light. Then open transform and make these settings here. Now choose the element 3D layer and search for CC light sweep. Then go here and copy these settings. Then set a keyframe here. And go to the last frame and change the center value. So now go to the project and create a new comp with 1920 by 1080. Then create a new solid for the background. And search for gradient ramp. Here change the ramp shape to radial. For the colors let's choose this blue color here and here the black color. So now let's drag our 3D logo into this comp. Then make the scale 50%. And our 3D logo animation is done. So that's all for this tutorial. Make sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time.